Hello, everybody. I thought I would let the intro start and drown me out instead of just leaving it on the other screen. What I thought I was going to do, and please, please, if you're just tuning in for the first time, I have no idea what I'm doing with my balances or anything. I'm trying to learn. However, I can do it via Twitch and the footage is all right. But one of the things that I have been trying to do recently, I've been doing a lot of speed running. It just occurred to me this evening that maybe I might just do a little video of how to do all the final bosses on Sonic 1, 2, 3. When I say, one, it, say Sonic 1, 2, and 3, I mean Sonic 3 and Knuckles, I might just stick the Sonic 3 one in there. I'm not doing Sonic CD, because I'm not good enough. I've not played it much. So, yeah, anyway, I feel like I'm shouting. Just let me try and sort the balance out of my headset. I hope you can all hear me. So my fastest time on Final Zone on Sonic the Hedgehog 1 is that that we've just done and I've clipped off. I'm 56 worldwide. I've got 113. I don't know how these people improve these times. Like, that's nonsense. There must be like a cheat to do it with Knuckles. But yeah, I, I'm not anticipating I beat this time. I'm just going to show you how to do it. I'm just going to show you how to play this level. So let's go back. Let's retry this level and I'll show you how it's done. Uh, who do you fancy playing as? Who plays Amy? It's for a difference. So if you're going for speed, you want to stand exactly where I've just stood there. Here. And hope you don't get squished. If you just want to play it like a normal person, go to the far right hand side. And hope that he lands in that one or the one above me here. But I'm playing a bit risky right now. Because I want to try and do it as fast as I can. Not that I'm speed running. I just have a a problem. Ah, oh, man. See? <laughs> Got beat my bite. <laughs> beat by my own, like, inability to not speed up. Can't help myself. I speed run everything. Whether I'm good at it or not, I'm like, we have to go fast. <laughs> If you're in the middle though, you've got more chance of it hitting one of the other two. If you're in like the far right hand side, it blocks you by those right two uh, pistons there. Like I say, it's a little bit hit and miss, this tactic. It's like I could, if I, I should have gone left there to make sure that I got one of those pistons. Also, when these balls are dropping from the screen, the top of the screen, you want to try and get the widest gap, so that's here now. Oh, we've done it, we've done it. That's good, that's quick. Come on, Robotnik, I'm waiting for you. Let's go. I've still not beat my fast this time. So that's just a normal time. That's no faster. Time, best time C. I can do it in 113.46. I can't beat that time. But that's how you beat Robotnik on final stage on Sonic 1. Let's go for... Do you want to see Sonic 2? Like I said, I can't do Sonic CD. I can do Sonic CD. I'm just not very good. So if you need a tutorial, then don't come here. That is not my thing. I've barely played it. Death egg. I can't help. I don't want to speed run it. I just want to show you how to do it. But there's part of me that wants to speed run it. Look at all the options you get on Sonic 2, by the way. My little head exploded the first time Amy was added to this. Because look, you can play them all individually. You can drop tails in with the others. Um, who shall I play as? I'm going to play as 
Sonic, you know? Let's go traditional. And not speedrun it because we've just screwed it up there. Like, right. we're gonna get close here. You can do it four times there if you speedrun it, but you have to drop at the right time. That was quick. Come on, let's go, let's go! <laughs> when you say not speedrunning, you can do nothing but. Most people hit him from the front. I hit him from the back. It's just the way I've always done it. And I can't hit him from the front for some reason. But I try to, it mucks up the rhythm. Damn it. That didn't work. Let's go. Sometimes you can hit him there if you speed running and speed past the two bombs. That clearly didn't work there. You want to stand just behind his like booster pack when you stand here. You jump now. You hit twice. Left it a bit late for this. Might fall on his plane. Damn it! This one. If you're not being cocky, just stand over here. Okay, on that one, but there we go. Damn it. <laughs> and then you walk into the back of his legs. <laughs> right, I'm not going to speed run it now. We're going to just show you how to do it properly. She says, with such confidence. Come on. Right. So you have to hit Metal Sonic eight times. Playing it properly, right? I'm going to show you what happens when you play it properly. He spins across the front here. You can hit him here if you're fast enough. You can kind of jump through him at that point. Hit twice here just to show you. Like here, there you go. You can hit through him like that. What you don't want to do, you don't want to do that, but you also do not want to land on his spike. I'll show you what I mean. Like here, if you land too far, you hit him on the forehead, if you land on the back here, you die. His spikes are very spiky. <laughs> If you fall through him, his shoes are also very hot. <laughs> I'm just showing you how not to do it. That, that's the plan. <laughs> Come on. I could have gotten a fourth time then. Barely saw me move there, yeah. I'm far too cocky. I can play this with my eyes closed. <laughs> it's um, a misspent childhood, unfortunately. And you get this mentality when you speedrun it that you don't mind dying so much. But if you're trying to show people how to play it, that's not a good tactic, is it? It's just like, come on, woman, you just keep dying on us. So you go, 
between the third and the fourth pillar here is where you want him to drop. Back over here. And he'll start walking now. So you can hit him again. If you've been really cocky, walk to his back leg there and hit him there. And we've got him. See, if I don't, like, over-try it, it's quite straightforward. No, I don't want to try again. Best time is 1.20 on that. I'm not quite sure how I managed that one. Should we see where that takes me on the ranking, actually? I don't think it's that good. Oh, uh, yeah, that's terrible. I'll fix that, though. I'll make that better. It was faster with Amy, though, when I did that. I'm not even going to go into that now, because I'll start going on another journey that we don't want to go on. Right, so... There's two options here. What I think I'm going to do first, for those that want to see it, I'm going to run the Death Egg. No, I'm not. I've just done the Death Egg. I'm going to do Doomsday. Oh, but I want to do them in order, don't I, guys? Right, we're going Death Egg at two. I have to run the whole level all the way through. With or without emeralds. Wow, that's really slow. Do you know what? Right. I, I'm pretty stunned by that. That's a really, really, really low score for me. Um, let's retry this. Let's run it as Tails. I don't know if we've got all the emeralds or not, because I'm running it as Tails. And I don't know when you retry it if it gives you all the emeralds or not. But we're just going to go for speed, so we're not too bothered about anything else right now. It's unfortunate that the, the run of bosses here, Doomsday is the last level on this one, really. But there's four Robotniks before we get to Doomsday. Oh, stop playing it. I'm playing it like a... I'm playing it. I want to speed run it, so I need to ignore these things. Yeah, that's how you play properly. Seven minutes. Do you know what is that causes the seven minutes? The last Robotnik on this is like near damn impossible to do any quicker because it's you're just relying on him hitting himself and timing. And then all the bosses after that, so the three bosses after it, you're you're still timed on it. Like I'm not going in that special stage, it's a terrible special stage. That's the um Ah The one um Yeah, where you're in a slot machine. We don't want to risk losing a rings just like I've done that. Playing it like a pro. It takes me 20 minutes to get past the spring. We don't have to wait for this tail. We're not doing lampposts either, are we? Because we're speedrunning. I keep forgetting this. Actually, don't the lampposts affect your overall time, do they? The time stops when you go in there. So maybe we will. And see if we can't get super tails. Hyper tails, sorry. You can't actually, well, technically get super tails. It's not a thing. Hyper tails is a thing. You get the birds flying around your head that kill things for you. Hyper tails is my favourite of all the super characters. I didn't want to go in this either. If you're speedrunning, what you want to do is fall to the bottom and jump across. There's nothing to kill you down there. This one you need to go in here, I think. 
anything underneath this stuff to kill you around one light. Oh no, that one's okay. Yeah, don't go in the second one either. Right, we're at the end early. Every time you jump and land on this, it changes the direction that this thing goes. It's like the most impossible thing to do. See what I mean? It changes the direction. Yeah, we're going to Robotnik with no bubble. We need to be careful of rings. This guy... You can't hit Lux, the bump is in the way, so you want to hit him with his own bombs. So timing is crucial. And everything missed them. And you can only hit him from underneath. And then they blow up like that, just as you're about to get them to hit him. I'm going to say time is crucial as well. You don't want to get hit while you're spinning around in this. So they, they're coming towards you like that one there. I've got, I've got one ring. Did I hit him then? I don't know. That one. And this is why you can't speed run this level. Because it's just like impossible. You have to kind of step in it going to hit him or not and you have to watch them spikes as long as you're in this spinning tube those spikes that spit off when they explode can't hurt you so when you're spinning like that they can't hurt you that's not going to hit anyone it's a rotten game We're not speedrunning though, are we really? I started the stream out by saying we're not speedrunning tonight. We're just trying to show you how to do these levels. And this is exactly how to do it if you've not got any of your superpowers. So, technically, this is correct. <laughs> it's just long winded. Spin, spin, spin. See what I mean? That spike would have killed me if I wasn't spinning. Oh, you rodent. This game. Like, I love this game and hate it in full measures. There we go. The gravity went. Come on. We're in a rush. And it starts at exactly the same time. got Super Sonic this time. The last time I ran this, it was with Super Sonic. Fingers start when he steps. Now I think it is. There we go. So time on this. Two hits per finger. When he steps, jump. Maybe not like that. <laughs> Go. Actually, it's just after he steps. Let's try this again. Let's see the time in one. And again. Step. Jump. Jump. Oh, come on. What a hard game. Why is that not working? Is it normally I can hit these two to three times unless I'm streaming? Step, jump. That's how you do it. That's, I'm just slow. <laughs> right, so this you need to hit him on the nose. You see the emerald. When the blue lights disappear, you jump and then you can hit him again. So 
down, emeralds, blue lights in the hair, jump, emeralds. See, I do know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As I lose my last ring. <laughs> you get the idea then, guys, yeah? And he comes at you again. So this, this bit, his tails can be a bit troublesome. Because if you double jump by mistake, you can end up flying and fly right off the end. So get underneath Robotnik and then jump. The ground at the bottom is falling away really quickly. And if you're not underneath him, you will get... Ah! You'll get thrown off the edge. Come on, Tails. That was slower. No. So when you've got Supersonic in the main game, obviously that knocks like a minute and 14 seconds off. I can't do that normal. But that is just, that's how you do it when you aren't supersonic. And then we go on to Doomsday Zone. I think I can improve on this. Let's retry. How can you play as Sonic and Tails on the Doomsday Zone? Is that even a thing? Knuckles isn't an option, but... I feel like I want to try it as Sonic and Tails just to see. Tails is there. Well, that's a con. If you stay on the horizon, possibly the quickest way, but I might lose wings before I get to Robotnik. So don't move. Just boost. Boost, boost, boost. And get back on that horizon line. Oh, I missed that bit. It's normally, yeah, that bit was there that could have gone to, but I didn't do. Cutting it fine now with rings. As long as I've got a minute's worth, I'm normally okay here. So, what you want to do? Big long bombs, nice bits them out. You hit his head with them. And you're boosting all the time to avoid the little... The little, like, bullets that are coming off him. Go around the front, he releases more of the heavy missile. And then you have to try and get him to hit himself in the head. Ah, oh, we missed it. Come on, back around. Back around, there we go. Another one. I think one more and I think we've got him. Yes. Come on. Right. And I'm just boosted. This is a long cut thing here. Boost, 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 boost. Just hammer that boost button like button bash. There, bash. Just keep speeding towards him. I think you've got enough as long as you've got 20 rings at that end point there. You pick up enough just staying on the horizon here. There you go. That was faster. Look, did it fastest time. Should we go see where that puts us? Don't want to retry. No, no, no. <laughs> No, we've had enough. <laughs> Let's get to my data and rank him. Let's see where that's dropped us in. It's probably still nowhere near because I think we can do that a lot faster, actually. Let's see. What was the time I just got? Because it doesn't always refresh really quickly. Should we try that again? Do you want to try that again? Let's try that again. And we'll try it as Amy. I didn't even know Amy was a super character. Look at her running. That looks so stupid. <laughs> At least Sonic's floating. I'm just staying on the horizon again. I'm using the same tactic. I do need to rush up. There's, oh, there's a big pile of them up there as well. There's a big pile of them somewhere. Oh, this looks so silly. 
There's me a little pile of rings at the top there, it is, and I missed it all, but that's just awesome. Keep going. Just need a minute's worth to get here, that's the key. I wonder why they don't let you run it as knuckles. Spit your bombs out of the eh? Those big bombs, by the way, if they hit you, you make them disappear like that. rings left. I must have done that a bit quicker. Look at her running for a little life. Come on. Robotnik. Waiting for you right there. Just throw yourself like boost, boost, boost. That's all you need to do here. 20 plus rings. You're good. faster? That was 10 seconds faster. <gasps> Where's that put us? No, 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 no. It's as bad as Fall Guys for like sending you to the wrong place this game. So much better. That's so much closer to where I normally sit. 120. How have you not? 20 seconds off there. Oh, do you know what though? I've chucked Amy in the middle of a load of um, Sonic speedruns. Normally you see the same character dotted around. Oh, look at this house. Um, maybe it's just people like to play it as Sonic, this particular one actually, on reflection. But yeah, so that is how you do all of the bosses on Sonic 1, 2, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles. The only one that I am actually missing, because I've done all the ones on Sonic 3 and Knuckles, is the one on Sonic 3. Ugh. I might run that for you as well, actually. So when I say the one on Sonic 3, if you don't have the Knuckles cartridge to plug in, the last level is on launch base act two. So we're gonna run that. Oh Amy's got the fastest time there. I've got a really crappy time there. Come on, let's do this. I might as well do them all while I'm here. I'm gonna play it as Tails, I think. Oh this means it's crap. The change from the original Speedrunning. I need to stop trying to speedrun. Just goes against everything. <laughs> I just want to show you how to do it. Rightly or wrongly, or well, or not so good. Yeah, so for those of you who haven't really played the Sonic game so much, back in the 90s, um, you had Sonic 1, Sonic CD if you had a, Sonic, um, a Mega CD, and then they released Sonic 2, all great, and then Sonic 3 came out, and the ending on this was so disappointing. And it's like, what the hell's going on? And then they released Sonic and & Knuckles, and you plugged it into Sonic 3, and it just enhance the game like a million times over. So the disappointing end that you got on this game was made up for on Sonic 3 or Knuckles. But it's a bit crap, right? That's like the... I think that's the first sort of equivalent of like in-game in in purchases. Because you... Once you bought the cartridges, yeah, it's great. But you couldn't complete 
Sonic 3 properly without Sonic and Knuckles. So I think it kind of paved the way for everything that we now have, where we have to spend all our money buying stuff in game. If you want to, that is. Obviously, you can do it for free, but like me on Fortnite, I spend a small fortune on the game because <laughs> I like having nice skins and nice emotes and stuff. But when you think it came from here, I don't want to go over there, that takes too long. This was kind of the earliest concept of it, I think. You know what I'm trying to say. Right, we're near Robotnik now. This is where I lose all my rings. Straight away. So this is the first part. at the bottom this time. I think it just alternates, you know. You can normally hit him twice if you quick. As long as you've got one ring on this, you're good. To take to Robotnik after you beat this version of it. This was one of my favourite scenes in any of the Sonic games. It's like, oh my god, they're in Robotnik's Egomatic. And then Knuckles is getting in the way. And you would have thought at this point in the game, like, he, he plays another whole game after this before he realises that Robotnik isn't his friend. Like, he does some quite crappy things to him. Like, he could have died. What if he couldn't swim? He would have drowned there. Hey Dr. Sarcasm, how's it going? I'm just running all the big bosses on Sonic 1, 2, 3, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Trying to kind of speed run them without speed running them. Because I don't need to, but I can't help myself but try it. Oh no, I need that ring, I need that ring. Above all else, I need a ring. So you've already beat Robotnik once, and you're back here again now, trying it. This one's not too tough. It's just annoying, like, he's got a spike flying around him, that little ball, that really gets in the way like that. Ah, ring. The advantage of playing on Sonic Origins. Oh, um, you don't fall off the edge. Well, you couldn't have fallen off the edge anyway, because that was the edge of the screen. This came to the edge of the screen in the old game. So... Yeah, I guess it's kind of kind. It doesn't throw you off the edge there. So this was the end of Sonic 3. You have to beat this guy, and then you're at the end. Just a bit of timing, so you jump and hit him in the face there. And you see his hands coming for you, you jump. Or not. <laughs> we have to hit this one 12 times. Breaks kind of the suit of most Robotniks, but for the end bosses, you can hit him when he's going up there if you time it right. But most Robotniks are eight hits, as you know. End bosses are 12. Could have hit him then. You have to avoid those hands. If he grabs you, he just bashes you against the floor. And you lose all your rings. And then you ha especially when you just rock him one like I am now. Makes it a bit tough. Ah, no, 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 I need that ring. Again, a little bit of an advantage playing with Tails. Managed to fly then and catch that last ring. Oh man, left that the wrong time in. Uh, 
Hey, we got him. And that's how you do all of the bosses. I made that statement quite bo boldly. <laughs> boldly after Doomsday Zone, but yeah, that's the one on Sonic 3. In case you're playing it on an old cartridge and you've not got Sonic and Knuckles. And he used to, he just jumped at the screen and that was the end of Sonic 3 and it was like, what the hell's this? Yeah, I've done that faster look. Anyway, that's how you do all of the big bosses on Sonic 1, 2, Sonic 3, Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I don't know what I'm going to stream next. I'm in the process of trying to set up my um, other, like I've got a laptop and stuff to stream off now. So I'm possibly not going to be doing it via Twitch much longer. I'm going to be doing it directly on my YouTube channel and I'm going live. But I still need to set that up, so this might stay for a few weeks. But thank you for watching, and um, yeah, I'll see what is coming out next. If you don't follow me on YouTube already, it's blonde underscore logic underscore gaming on YouTube. So thank you for watching. I'll speak to you all very soon.